Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are again on the QTech world. Last time, I worked on making storage bins, and these bins hold all the various items we get from the digital miner. Now, I didn't finish all this on camera, but I did get them all hooked up, and everything is ready to go. I also got rid of all of our chests out down here and put everything into the storage system. I had to make one more 4K card, so now we have everything up here, and everything's working great. So what are we going to work on today? I have been waiting for this for quite a while. We're going to start to try to figure out automatic crafting. Auto crafting is something that uh, I think we need, especially if we're going to make bulk items. The thing is the solar panels, if you look at the solar panels here, let's put this up, which we're trying to make each one of these like this takes eight of those. And then you go here, it takes eight more of the previous tier. Each tier takes more and more of them. So we kind of have to have this automated because we're not going to make a gazillion of these solar panels like the tier ones just so we can make one tier six or whatever. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need a pattern grid, which is this device right here, and a pattern. The pattern grid takes a pattern as part of it. So let's make the pattern first. I did bookmark this already. This is just glass and redstone and quartz enriched iron, and we'll make that, and we have a pattern. There we go. I'm going to put it up in our, in our storage system so we have it. Now we need to make this. This is the pattern grid it takes a pattern an advanced processor and a grid so i don't think we have that so let's make the advanced processor we'll make that we got to cook that up right and then we need to make let's see let's go into here what do we need we need two of the gold ones so let's do that two of those and the other ones here we've got that that's good and let's see can we make this one yes we can make that one so we just got to cook these up down in the furnaces now i need to have a way of doing that automatic too i haven't done that yet that's something we can probably do in another episode or on a stream so we'll get these we'll make the pattern grid and what this pattern grid device does is basically you set a pattern onto the little pattern file you say what like items how it's stored on a crafting grid and what it makes it's kind of like a, a a an item definition defining what needs to be made okay so let's bring this up here and let's make this. And this might be easier once you see it. Uh, we're going to make the grid. And then we're going to make the pattern grid. Okay, so I'm going to put this, I think, um, over here, right against here. And here it is. Now, we have our pattern grid. Then we'll, we're going to try to do some things here. Okay, let's start off right away with the pattern. Let's make another pattern. And we're, let's go into the crafting grid. Sorry about that. And we're going to make a pattern. Now we have physically made a pattern. We're holding it. Now, right here, this is a pattern grid. This is not a crafting grid. It looks like a crafting grid. It's kind of like a crafting simulation, if you will. So I want to say I want to make a pattern. I'll click that and put it in here. And it puts it into this grid. And it wants to, that's what you're going to make. And I'm going to say encode that onto this pattern. So now this is defined as a pattern. Okay. It makes that item. If I had made it, let's make another one of these patterns just so I can kind of give you an idea. Let's say I wanted to make um, glass panes. Okay, here we have our pattern. We're going to go over here. I'm going to make a glass pane. Do we have any glass? Right, I have glass. So if I put this like this, okay, you can see I'm making a glass pane pattern. I'll put the pattern and encode it onto this. And there it is. It says it makes 16 glass patterns. Now, if I hold the shift button down, you can see it changes to what it's making. This looks the same because it's actually making that pattern. So I'm going to put this back in the store system for now. We're not going to use that one yet. Okay, so we know how to make the patterns. I need to make um, a way of making patterns or using the patterns to make things. So I'm going to make a crafter. And I'm going to bookmark this. Here we go. Okay, so we need another machine casing. So we'll do that. I think I need to make one of those. And we need more tungsten nuggets. And so we have tungsten here. Let's make... A couple more of those. There we go. Okay, we're making the crafter. There's the machine frame. Now we can make the uh, machine casing, sorry. We need to make all of those pieces there. We need to make a destruction core, which we don't have of the basic processors. So we're gonna need a couple of these. We have to cook those up. We need two of the advanced processors, so cook two of those up. Oh, what are we missing here? 
silicon. So we've got to put this with lava and wafers in the uh, the machine down there. So make sure we have the wafers. I have eight, eight wafers. Let's make the buckets. We might need lava if it doesn't have any lava in it. Okay, so let's go on down here. No fluid at all. So we know we're going to take lava. So now i got to run and get some more lava. Okay, and we know where that is. It's just this way. This is one of those things that I wish I had a way to autocraft lava. I don't know how you would do that, but yeah, it'd be nice to have. So what we're going to make here in just a second is make the silicon that we need to make the processing uh, binding for the advanced processors. And then we're going to make the crafter. And what the crafter does is it takes those patterns we've been working on and makes the item when called for. So it's kind of like an auto crafting ability, but only when you say you want to. Let's go home. Make sure we're off of the lava so we don't uh, accidentally do something with it. Okay, lava's in here. And there we're going to make some pieces here. Let's just do this whole stack really quick. It doesn't take too long. We know we need the silicon for other things. Okay. I wish you could put these in, in here and just stack them. Um, this is something we can automate as well. And maybe we will do that probably at a different episode. Right now, I'm just trying to do the basics of auto crafting. Okay. There we have eight silicon. Let's go back up here. Might as well just put these down here and get these cooking. There we go. Right. So we're going to make the advanced ones, two of those, and get these cooking as well. And then once we have these, we'll go back up and we'll make the items that we need uh, for this crafter. Okay. Got two of those. How are we doing here? We've got one. Waiting on one more. And while we wait, I'm going to take a drink of some coffee. Mmm. Coffee time. Okay, so we should be good here. So if I put those back in there, we're going to make one of the construction cores, which just takes glowstone and the, the basic processor. And the destruction core takes quartz and the basic processor. And then we should have a crafter. Now I'm going to put this crafter down right here. And it's ready to go. Now what this crafter does is it will craft items. Now if you look in my storage system right now, we have a pattern that is encoded right here for 16 glass uh, panes, okay? That's a, just a, a an encoded pattern. We don't have any blank patterns in here whatsoever. Okay, does that make sense so far? So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take over here to the crafter and I'm gonna take the one that says encoded with making a pattern and put it here. I can even put the other one in and I will, let's put it over here so we have it, okay? So now when I go in here and I look at pattern, you can see it shows something, it says, hey, you know, craft. It doesn't have anything, but I can craft it. So all I have to do is just click this button and I can say how many I want. I want to make two. Start. And so what it will do is it will make those for me uh, if stuff is available. Okay. Now the pattern here was made with, and I just noticed something with this. I don't know if you saw it. Um, it was coated with, let's go back to the grid here. It was coated with the wrong glass. It was very specific what it was trying to do. It was trying to make it with the red glass, and we don't need to do that. See, so we got to get the right pattern here for regular glass, like right there, not back that glass. Hold on, let me get some regular glass. Glass, there we go. We don't need those. We need just regular glass, okay? And now we're going to re-encode that with this very specific, exact pattern. I had the wrong one in there. Let's grab it. And now we're going to put that there. Okay, now we're back to doing this okay so now I want to make a pattern I don't know how to make a pattern I say craft I want to tell it two and it will start and it says hey it's two craft two it's going to take six glass and six of the uh, quartz -mitched iron and six of the redstone I'll say start and you can see now I have two items like that in my storage system it automatically did that isn't that cool it automatically made things for me I just tell how many I want now that is fantastic. That works the way I want it to work. So I can also make it do like, for instance, the glass panes if I wanted to. Now, if you look at the glass pane here, we have 77. There's no way really for me to tell it that I know of to tell it that I need to make more, but we don't really need to make more, do we? Okay, so this is working out really nicely. It's getting dark. We're going to sleep so I can have some more coffee. Oops, it's not ready yet. So the next thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to make a way to have it automatically craft based on how many of an item we need. Wow, that's some eerie sounds. So 
let's go to sleep here. Take some coffee. Must have coffee. Hmm. So what we're going to make next, guys, is a device. We're going to, it's called the interface. Interface. We need one of these for items. We're going to grab that and bookmark it. And it looks pretty easy. You need an exporter and an importer. So those are some things we're going to have to make as well. Let me uh, go back here. Okay, we know we need to have a machine casing. Let's make that. We're going to probably run out of quartz pretty quick. There's our machine casing. Okay, so we're missing everything but the importer, exporter, and we're also gonna need to make an external storage. So we're gonna work on this pretty quick. Uh, we're gonna need some more of the gold and a regular processor binding. We're gonna need a gold and a construction core. So that's two of each of those types. And then for the external storage, which we're gonna need, I'm gonna make all these now. Uh, let's make sure I bookmark this. We're gonna need basically four and three, four of the iron ones and three of the gold ones. So let's make, we said we need four of these, right? And we need three of these. And I need more silicon. So let's make another wafer, uh, silicon. Oh, we got one of these, right? Okay. And we need a diamond saw. So let's just make some more of this. And there we go, okay. So we didn't quite have enough and we have two more things in here that we need of lava, two more charges worth, I guess you would say. So there we go. Let's start this cooking up here. Let's start this cooking here. I know I need to make something more automated with that and we can do that a little bit later. So now we need that and let's make um, one more of the processors, the gold ones. We so said we needed three of those. Okay, grab that, grab those. We're still working on it. I'm gonna take another drink here. Mm. I do love coffee in the morning. Gets me going. You like coffee? Put a comment down in, in the comment section if you like some coffee. Many of you probably don't even have coffee or never had it, but it's, it's really good. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna make the external storage. External storage takes these right here, so we need I think we need two of these. I only made one. One of those. Let's put those in there. There we go. I know I need an external storage. I know I need a an importer. Which is one of those. So make that. There's our importer. And we need an exporter. Which I'll need one of those. There's the exporter. Okay. Now we're gonna make the interface. And there's the, our interface and we have our external storage. So now this is where it gets kind of fun. So I'm gonna take this interface here and I'm gonna place it down here and I'm gonna put in the external storage on top and I'm gonna tell this to be extract only. And I'm doing this from a tutorial and I've done this in my test world, so this should work. So now let's look back here at the pattern. I have right now two. Let's say I always want to have four patterns in my in my system, okay? What I do here now is I say, I want this pattern, okay? I'm gonna put this one back. So remember, I don't have any patterns on me and the system has only two in it and I want four. So now I go into here and I right click on it and I wanna say, I wanna have four at all times. At all times, I wanna have four. And I say set. And it basically created two and exported those out. So if I look at the pattern now, did not auto extract. Why did it not auto extract? Extract mode is on pattern. Extract only ignore redstone signal. It's supposed to bring that back in. I'm not sure what I did, but you can see here that it has it. It should work. Why would it not work? Extract is on ignore redstone signal. Now I've got a bug here. It did create the two that we needed. Um, and it says we need to have the four. So it worked here. It's like the exporter. Um, or is it supposed to be an exporter? Extract only, extract mode is on, items. I think that this is working right, but basically it made two and it puts it in here. Okay, so let's look at this again and let's look at the pattern. When we have, 
Those are the two that I had. I have to. I think that this is working right. It made two or says we have to. Well, let's see. I want to make, it doesn't matter. Let's make, um, uh, well, we want to have one always. Okay. And the patterns I have in here are none. And it says we have craft. It should be trying to craft it. Can we make it? Do we have quartz? We have quartz enriched iron. Needed three of those. So it should make that. And we have glass and we have the everything. So it should be making it fine. This is, should be working. Everything is looking good. I am not sure what's going on here. This worked in my redstone testing world. So, hmm. Extract on, okay. Well, anyway, guys, what this should be doing is pulling this out and pulling it in back into the system. And it's weird that you need this piece right here, the external storage, but that's what you have to do. I am not seeing the issue here. Makes a pattern. We don't have any in here. So if we have two patterns, shouldn't be requiring to make it. And if I say I want to make four set. Oh, I know what it is. I, I forgot one piece. We want to make the crafter. There is a crafting upgrade. Okay, this makes sense. So we have to make this upgrade right here, which will tell it to do what we want. Okay, so can we make a lot of that? Probably. Let's say we want an upgrade here. We need a gold one. And we need more quartz enriched iron. So let's make that. And that I think we got to make with one of the other devices, right? It's iron and quartz. So let's grab some iron and some quartz. And we have a lot of that and we don't have a lot of quartz, but that's okay. Uh, let's, I think we just four will work, right? Okay. So that's what it is. I need to make that upgrade. This piece, right? Where'd it go? <laughs> so basically it doesn't know to craft the item that we need. So let's let's hit that and put that there. We're gonna need some crafting tables, right? That's what it said to need it. So let's make a couple of those, put get those ready to go. How's this going? Oh, it's refined iron, isn't it? which is refined iron. Oh my gosh. I hit a roadblock. Refined iron is just, this This is just sand, right? Yes. Okay. So let's find some sand. There we go. We'll get that done. Do we have any refined iron up here already? No, we don't have any refined iron. Okay. So we're gonna make some refined iron and add it to the quartz. So this is something we could also do with the automatic crafting. Um, I don't have a way to do that yet. So now we put to put that in here with this. What do we need four of this? Oh, this is gonna take forever. I'm sorry guys, I didn't realize I was out and this low on it. Take another drink while I wait for this. Mm-hmm. That's just two. Oh, this is going to be terrible. So once we get this crafting piece into here, it will say, oh, I need to craft two to get you up to the amount that you want, which is four. And so it will automatically do this, automatically make us the things we want when we need it. So if I take a piece of pattern out, it will say you're down to three. I'll add another one just so you have it. And that way we automatically will have the amount that we want to have every time. And why this is good is this will automatically create the items um, as needed. So if we use something up, we'll always be at a certain stock level in our inventory. And that's fantastic. We can then make, say for instance, we want to have eight of the level one solar panels. Well, they will always be there if we have a pattern that makes it. And that's kind of what I'm aiming for here. Okay, so we got some more quartz enriched iron. This is going to work for a little bit. Let's let that run. We're coming back up here. We're trying to make this pattern first. And we need to make a gold one. Oops, that's not it. We need one of those. And this is going to take the construction core, which is one of those. Uh, 
I have need more silicon, which means I need the word lava. Oh, guys. This is, this is, uh, this is bad. Let's go get some more, more lava. Oh, it's getting dark. Can we get there and get back in time? Probably not, but I can get back. I just gotta get there. So, you know, this might be something that you do if you make your own world. Maybe you should make your world right near some place where you have ex uh, access to a lot of lava. Or maybe I should uh, sometime, maybe in a stream, should do this and make get a bunch of lava stored into like a, a barrel or a tank or something that's close by, right? Grab that. Go home. Okay. Put that in there. It's getting dark. Let's go to sleep. Okay, so we're at about 20 minutes so far for this video. I'm gonna go a little bit faster here, or not faster, a little bit a little bit longer so that we can get uh, through this point so I can at least show you that it's processing. Let's get some more of the silicon wafers. This is made five of that. Let's put that up there. Oops, not there, there. There we go. We shouldn't need too many more of these. Okay. We've got that. That'll work. And now we have to make the... This. Which then we have to cook up. How's this going? We got more of that. Very nice. Make some more while we're at it here. This will be about done. Okay. So we go back up to here. We've got to make first this upgrade, which is basically like a blank piece. And it made that. And then we go up to here. And we need to make this, which is the construction core. We did that. And now we make the crafting upgrade. Now, when I put this in here, if you recall, we have the pattern here. We have two of those. See, you can see I have two, two patterns. I want it to, it to always be at a level of four. So I click this, and it should now be at four if it worked right. Maybe it doesn't work at the moment because I it was not in there at first. Let me take take the uh, pattern out. How do I get out of there? Let me let me break this down here. Let's redo this from the beginning here. Like what's that hole? <laughs> okay, there's our crafter. We're gonna put the external storage on top. We're gonna set that to extract only and now we go down here we're gonna put our uh pattern wait this is not the right oh yeah this is an item i want a pattern okay and uh, in here in our storage we don't have any we have two now and i want to say i want to be at a level four let's put the crafting in here now what's it doing up here we still have two and i'm gonna say i want it to have Four, set. And now, this should have... What is going wrong? What am I doing wrong? I don't understand. This should be working because it's got the crafting upgrade in the interface. Four, it needs to make two. It should be e extracting that out through here. Dot doesn't take a redstone signal. Doesn't matter. Extract mode is on. Going back into here. This is very strange. This is the what crafting upgrade makes it do the crafting. Okay, guys, I am going to go right now. We're going to go into my testing world. You get to see some behind the scenes here. We're going to go out there really quick and look because I know this works. I just am missing something. So let's go back to my test world here. This test world, I've done this making like glass and some things and it's set up correctly. So we're just going to check the options to see if I've got it correct. Then we'll go back into the, our, the world that we're doing for this YouTube um series and take a look at it okay so here we are i've got the same thing here i got this is an external storage and i don't know what this, this says here but anyway it doesn't say much here we have ignore items blacklist on and extract only that's what we have there and here i've basically said different things it's got a crafting upgrade this is a on extract mode and it's ignore and basically what this is doing is it's saying if I have, I want to have a 64, like, uh, let's say glass panes. It says I want to have 32 at all times. And if it, so I go over to here 
And it's like, like say I take out all of this. It says crafting and it automatically made 16 and 32. You saw that. It did that really quick. And there's the patterns. So everything looks like this. Um, so why is it not working? Extract and that. Okay, well, let's go look. Something I've done something differently in our YouTube series world. So let's go to the YouTube world. Take a look. Something is different. Something is different. I got to figure this out. I got to figure this out quickly so I can get this uh, video out to you guys. Yeah. Okay, so it is extracting on. It's more redstone signal. It's got the crafting upgrade. This is set to, I don't know what this is, 0% full. External storage. Extract only. Is it going to the wrong thing? Didn't I? I think I had this going into the... On there, I had it going into what was on top of here, the processing grid, the pattern grid. I think I did it that way. Let's try this on the other side. Um, okay, just to see. Because I think I had it going into the pattern grid itself when I did it. And it may not matter. I don't think it should matter, but we'll just see here. This should be there. This should be set to extract only. So pulling out. That's all good. It has to have a crafting item here. Again, on our in our storage system for patterns, we don't have any. And I'm, I have them right here. I don't care. I want to hold on to those. And I want it to have four. No, not two. Single one. And I want to have four. Set. Okay. And so now it should be making those. Oh, I bet you I know what it did. No, it's not making it. Why is it not making? Extract on auto crafting four set. We have the pattern there to make a pattern. Um, there's a way to see what is necessary here. Let's just try to craft one manually. Maybe it's missing something. I'll say craft one missing. It's missing quartz enriched iron. So that's what the bottleneck is here, guys. So it's going to try to make it. So let's change this to say I want to have two of the patterns, okay? And that should be, what, six quartz enriched iron. Do we have any more down here? We have four. There's our six. Okay, so that should be correct. So now let's put this in here. And again, I have said here, I want two of these. We have nothing in here as far as a system. It just says I can manually try to craft it. Now, if I put this in here, it should say, oh, I've got the materials. I want to craft two. You would think. And there it goes one and two. You see it did that by itself. And now that's in the system automatically. So this device here made what I needed. It was just a matter of missing resources, which is fine because that'll happen. And we'll just make more of stuff as we need it. So this made that item. So now if I say I want to have, let's put the glass pane one back. I'm going to put these items in here. And we have the 16 glass panes. Okay. Let's uh, put it into the crafter. Okay, and if you look at our glass panes here, we have 77 glass panes. Let me grab one of those. And I want to make, uh, let's see, it goes and makes it in lots of 16, right? Okay, so I need to make this, I think. I want to make 16, and I want to have make that how many times? I want to have... Four of those, which that would be a stack, 64. I want to have, no, let's make eight of those. I want to have 128 of those at a time in my storage system at any one point. And so now it should start to make those if it can, I would think. Why did it go back to eight? Now, what am I missing here? Panes. I have 77 glass panes. I just want to get... Let's get one of those. I have the pattern. The pattern is down in here. It is to make 16 glass panes that put six glass. How much glass do we have? We've got plenty of glass to make it, right? So we want to make... Let me take this out. I want to make glass pane. And I want to make... I want to have it... Let's see. I want to have over the 77 so I can see it make something. 
Let's say I want 128. No, well, let me type that in. 28, there it goes. Set. And now let's put the glass. And it's still not making it. This gets confusing because it should be making this the way we want. Pattern to make. I'm going to have to try to figure this out, guys. Wow, it's making them as I go. <laughs> That's funny. So now I've got even more glass panes, right? 77. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I got to work this out. This video is already at 30 minutes. I have got to get this out to you. You saw that it made the pattern. I'm sure it's a simple thing of somehow I've got to get this number being, maybe it's the stack that the pattern makes automatically. Like this is supposed to make 16 glass panes. Maybe I got to make this 16 and do that or it has to be a single one. I'm not sure. I will work that out in the next episode. We're going to really start working with auto crafting. But for now, it is working. You can see that it did make the stuff and kept the stock level of those patterns up. So I think we're good. Hey, guys, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all of the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.